New at 11 tonight, a Montgomery County man is behind bars accused of firing a gun at the Shady Grove Metro Station. The bullet narrowly missed several innocent Metro passengers. News Force Jackie Benson digs into a possible motive for last week's shocking incident. Court documents say the mezzanine area at the Shady Grove Metro Station was crowded with people when one man began pistol whipping another man and the gun discharged. Eli Q. Brown, 35, is charged with attempted first-degree murder in the May 31st incident, which happened around 11.15 p.m. The bullet ricocheted off the brown floor tiles, now repaired, and traveled through the mezzanine. There's a hole in the drywall on the underside of a set of stairs yards away. These images show police serving a search warrant at Brown's Rockville residence the next day, June 1st. Court documents reveal detectives learned Brown's teenage daughter knew the victim and that Brown was looking for him because of a disagreement. Police say multiple cameras at the metro station captured parts of the crime. They show Brown and two teenagers, one male, one female, parking in front of the station entrance, then walking down to the mezzanine level. Brown, wearing a purple latex glove on his right hand, tucks himself in a corner while the female teenager appears to be watching for someone to exit the fare gates. She appears to point out the victim when he walks out. He's with a group. There's a heated verbal exchange. Then police say Brown pulls a black semi-automatic handgun out of his sweatshirt, points it in the face of a woman in the group, and appears to order her to turn around. He hits the male victim in the head with the gun, which discharges. Cameras show Brown and the teenagers fleeing in a dark-colored Nissan sedan. This photo, taken by a witness, shows Metro Transit police preparing to tow a dark blue Nissan sedan from the parking lot of Brown's residence the day the warrant was served. The incident is part of an uptick in shootings at Metro stations that leaves many riders concerned for their safety. Very, very disrespectful. Don't care. The victim refused medical assistance for the head injuries that he received from being hit with the pistol. At the Shady Grove Metro Station, Jackie Benson, News 4.